part, Morgan. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, a young woman from the Tri-Cities has blazed a trail all the way from her local baseball field to the major leagues. She's now working for the Mariners. This is inspiring for all the women out there who want to get involved in this. Your fans, you can do this too. She's the subject of this week's Your Voices. Kyra 7's Ranji Sinha sent, sat down with Yvette Izagiri to hear her story and how she landed this dream job. Would you say that this was your dream position? Oh. 100%. For Yvette Izagari, growing up in the Tri-Cities, baseball wasn't a pastime. It was a future career that could lift her and her family. I didn't think about essentially doing anything else. She's not running bases, but is running so much more at T-Mobile Park. We sat down to hear her story about becoming a marketing rep with the Mariners, a lofty position she strived for. Part of her family immigrated from Mexico and worked in the fields near the Tri-Cities. Her parents would sleep during the day and pick food at night. YY, as she's known around the Mariners' offices, turned to the baseball field across the street to occupy her siblings. That foray on the diamond drew the attention of families and coaches. We started announcing games, keeping official scorebook, selling concessions, selling tickets. Just really gave us a sense of community and a place to belong, which I thoroughly believe now as an adult realized that they essentially saved our lives. YY wondered, could baseball be a career? She went to work to find out, learning all she could about working for teams. We were fortunate enough to have two options presented to us, and just luckily that I fell in love with baseball. She became a first-generation college student and learned marketing and management, landing internships and work with the Connecticut Tigers, Spokane Indians, and Tacoma Rainiers. I just ultimately really wanted to recreate that sense of community that those folks gave me and my siblings, and it's just been incredible. She landed her Mariner's dream job. Many ads and sponsors fans see around the ballpark are managed by YY. But ultimately, I get to activate sponsorships. Yvette says many guided her to her goals, so it's ironic on game days she often guides the people who are throwing the ceremonial first pitch. I will walk them to the warning track. Sometimes I'm walking pretty fast because I'm like, hey, we were on a timeline, and then I remember, oh yeah, these folks probably haven't gotten to do this before. You know, let's, let's take it in. Her dream job came from hard work, but she soon had that dream darkened a bit. After her start, the Mariners generously gave her a suite for a game so her family could see her success. In the seventh inning, he called everybody in from the seats into, you know, the suite area where it was a little bit more quiet um, and shared with us that he'd been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And so, sorry, that gets me a little bit. So we found comfort in the Mariners. Yvette Izagari's father is doing better and her family supports her career. One Mariner's motto is see us rise. And Yvette's family has seen her rise since baseball to her is more than a game. My whole goal was to create the sense of community for other people, but also have the Latin community feel like they're invited here as well. When things get really hard sometimes, because life is hard, one of the things that reminds me things are going to be okay is just watching the game. For Your Voices, I'm Ranji Sinha, Cairo 7 News. Gosh, how inspiring is that?